I'm going to take a look at this power supply board. It costs fourteen dollars from AliExpress, and it's advertised as a voltage adjustable DC regulator linear power supply board. It mentions a, a, a pass transistor, large current, low noise, low internal resistance, DIY. Well, the board itself came completely assembled. And it makes some half-assed instructions here about what you can do with it. None of them are very clear. For example, it talks about uh, having a range, if you replace the fine-tuning potentiometer, of 3.3 to 36 volts. And there's no mention of current here. They do mention 25 amps, but that refers to the current rating of the bridge rectifier. As I often do with AliExpress and eBay Chinese pieces, I try to make a board layout and a schematic. The board layout is just that. It's the location of these components. Because these are not normally, although they may be, given component designations, I've assumed uh, R10, for example, C2. The circuit itself is interesting, to say the least. An AC input without a center tap goes to a full wave rectifier and then a bank of capacitors. The full wave rectifier is here, the bank of capacitors are here, and here. So I have six capacitors after the full wave rectifier, and there they are. Take specific note of the fact that these are rated a maximum of 35 volts. That's right here. And yes, they are 35 volts. We have a regulator circuit that I am at a loss to explain that uses a TL431 as a reference. A sample of the output voltage is... I'm not sure what it is. It's taken and sent to the TL431. Then there's a bank of output capacitors followed by an inductor. That's these capacitors and this inductor. It goes to two output jacks. One labeled DC output, which is here. And in parallel with that is a 10K resistor and an LED. So the LED derives its power from here. Current limiting through the 10K resistor. Here's the LED. This other power outlet, or this other jack, is not output voltage. It has a 10K, I'm going to call it current limiting resistor, because I believe this is a connection for an external LED. And the LED here and the LED here would both be connected to the output, both have a 10K current limiting resistor. So I believe what we have is a remote LED if necessary. The schematic, I'm at a loss to explain. It uses a PNP pass transistor and an LM317. I searched for this on the web. The best I could do was come up with this, which makes less sense. As a PNP pass transistor, an output filter, an inductor, but the voltage just is taken from the input. But that's okay, the guy who posted this schematic didn't know how it works. So, and nobody else knew how it worked. The bridge rectifier doesn't need to be insulated. 
This is uh, hot, electrically, that is. I'm going to put a heat sink on it, and we'll take a look at how it works. So I have a transformer here, and this is an American-made transformer. Pretty conservative. 115 volts AC, 24 volts AC at uh, 5 amps. So I've got the secondary open circuited. So there's no secondary current flowing. And I've adjusted the input voltage to 115 volts. 114. So it's a half a volt low. Remember, 115 volts input yields 24 volts AC output. And you see the no load voltage is 25.8, almost 26 volts. If I were using this transform with 120 volts in, I bet we're at 27 volts or so. Now a 24 volt transformer is the most commonly available. That's why I'm using it. Remember that this is RMS voltage. When I apply an RMS voltage to a rectifier capacitor combination, these capacitors will charge to peak voltage, which is a little less than one and a half times the RMS value. It's really 1.414 times RMS. That means with most 24 volt transformers, we will exceed this 35 volts. I wired the transformer up, and uh, there's quite heavy wires in the secondary of this transformer. But they fit, they did fit nicely into the box terminals. I gotta give them credit for that. Turn it on and see if we blow anything up. We didn't. The voltage across these capacitors is actually measurable right here. And you see we're right at 34.8. The maximum, of course, is 35. Looking at the power supply, you notice there's no bleeder resistors across the uh, output. So once turned off, there's a good chance there's going to be a charge contained in here. The only uh, current drawn would be the current through this divider, and this is a 50k pot, and the current drawn through this was enough to light the LED. So it's not current limiting, that's for sure. In fact, the instantaneous short circuit current is probably really high. I'm going to turn it on. The voltage went up to 11.96. So we're going up. We've ran out of adjustment at 17 volts. And we're going down, down. So it goes down nicely. Okay, we've. I can hear the tensiometer clicking. So the range of this right now appears to be around 3 volts, 3.1, up to 3.1. I'm not at the top of the tensiometer, I don't think. Yes, I am. I hear it clicking. So that's the range, 3 to 17 volts. Now you would get much higher. 
this voltage divider consists of a 10k here and a 6.8k here and a 50k pot so these two resistors are fairly trivial so that's the maximum voltage we're able to get I doubt that changing this potentiometer would allow you to go to 30 volts. I just looked at this with an oscilloscope. It's not worth hooking up. I compared it with a, a linear B and K power supply I have. This is about half the noise. Measuring noise is an art. I'm not good at it. That's why I compared it with a a different supply. With 17 volts output, I'm going to turn the input down. And you see, I don't see the output changing at all. Now it could be that I have enough capacity that we're not going to see anything until the load actually. The only load I have on it's this thousand ohm resistor. But I've got the input vo voltage to the transformer turned down to around 85 volts. I actually take a look at the AC input voltage. And I'm reading 18 volts input. And that changes to a DC voltage of 23. I doubt that I can lower the input voltage to 12. I mean, I know I can lower it to 12. It's now 18. Uh, it's 14. And you see we've begun to lose output. And if I adjust it to 12 volts AC, So I have 12 volts RMS. That gives me a voltage here of 15 volts. Now I'm decreasing the voltage, so apparently I'm in the regulating range of 11 volts. I maybe could get 12. And I guess I can probably go down to three pretty quickly. And now we there we are at zero. That is where uh, the end of the potentiometer. So this makes a much nicer 12 volt power supply. In fact, I doubt that it's usable much above. 16 or 17 volts. So there it is. I doubt that you could reach this number. Now the amount of current you can draw, what's well, entirely up to the heat sink you provide. So when used with a say 15 volt RMS input, this is a very nice conservatively designed power supply. As always, this uh, schematic and component specifications for all these components, uh, specification sheets, are in the subdirectory below. Thank you.